There's a story of a woman who turned a $500 investment into $60 million. Her name was Rose Blumkin, historically known as Mrs. B. Mrs. B was a Russian Jewish immigrant who left Russia and landed in Seattle in 1917. She couldn't speak a lick of English and was struggling to learn the language. After shortly living in Fort Dodge, Iowa, she moved to Omaha, Nebraska because there were other Russian Jews there and at least she would have someone to talk to. She eventually learned English by having her four children teach her what they would learn at school when they returned home every day. Although she never attended a day of school in her life, Mrs. B was thrifty. She found ways to make money selling used clothing and other items, and she lived like a peasant, aggressively saving her money. By 1937, she had saved up $500. She got on a train, went out to Chicago to the American Furniture Mart. Now, Mrs. B didn't go out there for a shopping spree. She went out there with intent and purpose. She purchased about $2,000 worth of merchandise. She worried the entire train ride home, thinking how she would pay off that $1,500 that she owed, purchasing $2,000 worth of goods and only having $500 worth of equity. When Mrs. B returned to Omaha, she opened the Nebraska Furniture Mart. Her motto, still listed on the company website today, sell cheap and tell the truth. And selling cheap was something she did well, really well. Nebraska Furniture Mart grew to be a local monopoly. With more than 450,000 square feet of retail space and 1 million square feet in warehouse space, it was able to stomp out the competition in both merchandise selection and price. The company was simply able to buy in such large quantities that it commanded deep discounts from manufacturers. This equated to both lower operational costs and lower merchandise costs, which meant that they could offer the lowest price to the customer by a wide margin. Mrs. B's business grew to become so strong that customers simply stopped shopping elsewhere because they knew Nebraska Furniture Mart would offer them the absolute best deal money could buy. Now the company sold goods at such a cheap price that their margins or money left over after paying for operating expenses were razor thin, but they made up for the low margins by having a high inventory turnover. Can you think of any businesses today that have this model? Costco, Amazon, Walmart? Mrs. B sold her business to Warren Buffett in 1983 for $60 million, and not a penny less as she said. Mrs. B was 89 at the time. She lived until the age of 104, running her business until she was 103. An illiterate immigrant who came from nothing during a time where it was much more difficult for women than it is today, was a pioneer in the low cost provider retail space. She didn't have a degree. She never went to school a day in her life. But what she did have was grit and determination. Mrs. B's determination for success made up for her disadvantages. She didn't start on the same socioeconomic level as many of her competitors in life, but in the end, she put them all out of business and struck a deal with the world's most notorious investor. There is a market out there for nearly anything. Work, save some capital, self-educate yourself, and if you come up with a business or investment idea, don't be afraid to take a shot at it. There's a great quote that goes, Formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Mrs. B couldn't even read or write, but she was highly skilled when it came to business. So what ideas can you come up with? How can you turn a small sum of money into a potential fortune? If anyone watching has any great success stories, share them below. We want to hear about your investments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content.